Can you talk us through how this drought in Iraq and also in Iran has been uh, creating political tensions? Of course, in the Islamic Republic, we've seen a number of somewhat violent rallies. Sure, I think water is really good reflection of the relationship between the state and the people. So if there is a drought that's making water issues or you know less water available for everyone and the tensions or the relationship between the people and the state is already bad, then things would generally get worse. Normally we find, especially in the, the countries we were just talking about, Iraq, Iran, Turkey, Syria, for example, that um, it's mismanagement much more than the drought. And the, the problems are human-made rather than natural. It's interesting that you mentioned Syria just now. Do you think that the governments of uh, these countries do have something to worry about, given that uh, seven years ago the shortage of water was one of the reasons that took the Syrians to the streets? I think uh, Syria is a really interesting case because there were a number of reasons that the people took to the streets in 2011. Water might have been one of them. There's a tendency maybe to over-ascribe the importance of water in the, in the bigger picture of you know, political tensions that have existed, class tensions that have existed for, for decades. But water, if, if there isn't a good relationship between the people and the water, and the people and the state already, then a drought and the, the way that affects the livelihoods of many farmers can make things worse. So I think Iraq and Iran uh, and all countries indeed should be managing their water resources well, as well as having a good contract with their own people, of course. So a potential call for the Iranian and Iraqi governments to try and take care of uh, their water crisis.